start this video off, I want you to listen to the quadfather himself to hype you up for this squat tutorial. Nothing, nothing's like squats. I mean, it's like nothing compares to squats. You can do leg presses, but why? Why do an inferior movement? Why do a movement that looks good, but it produces hardly any results? I don't care how much weight you can use. I'd rather do, like you did, three good plates, get in 15, 20 good reps, and reap the benefit. I mean, there's a reason people don't squat. It's hard, it's hard. People don't want what's hard, they want what's easy, what looks showy. Forget about it. In fact, forget about the weight, just squat correctly like you just did. That is the secret, absolutely. And with the words of the quad father himself, let's go to the gym together now. So I usually go training in the morning, I'm putting my headphones in, having a coffee, an energy drink, or a booster, whatever, and I just listening to the music that I like, that I have a Spotify playlist to really get focused and in zone. So the squat really is one of the best exercises, not only for martial arts people, it's for everybody, because you're training your whole body. And if you perform a squat correctly, you not only can get a huge benefit out in your martial art, also in your daily life, in your job. So the squat is not only a full body exercise, but also your kicking power, your strength, your stamina, your stance, and your footwork can highly improve and go through the roof with this exercise. But squatting with poor form can also lead to very severe injuries, and with this tutorial I want to make sure that you don't do the common mistakes, which we're going to cover in the end. I'm going to give you a full tutorial on how to perform a correct squat and also a proper warm-up for it. So let's go to the gym. So the squat is usually performed in a so-called squat rack. So here you have the barbell, here you have the different handles, and here you have the safety bars that you can adjust according to your height. And I would highly recommend you use those. This shit here, that's not belonging here. Don't know why people still do that. So you want to bring up the bar to your respective height that you can safely then go in and put it here on top on top of your traps. But before we start squatting, we need to do a warm-up. So there's two types of warm-ups. First, there's the general warm-up, where you bring up your heart rate, warm up a little bit your body, and then there's the specific warm-up. So the specific warm-up is going to be respective to that exercise. So here today, we're doing the squats, so we do a specific warm-up just for the squats. For the warm-up, we would start off with jumping jacks. This is a great cardio exercise to bring up the heart rate in the beginning. We can also do variations then here. We can bring the hands to the front, we can jump to the side. You can also switch up a little bit, so we have different exercises, different joints in there. And also make it a little bit more complex. Next then is squat jumps. We do this because we want to really warm up all the muscles in our legs. And this is also a great cardio exercise. And after we have warmed up our body properly, we come then to the joints. So we move our hips around, we go then down to the knee joint. We rotate them, we circle them, that also the ankles are going to be moved. And then we come to the other side, we stretch a little bit, opening up the hips. That is really important also to have the flexibility to really squat as to grass with proper form and then we are done. So there's no better specific warm-up for an exercise than the exercise itself. What I always recommend for the specific warm-up is high rep sets with low weights. Focus on form and the execution and think about the mind-muscle connection. Here for the squats we can also use this exercise that I'm about to show you now. We can use a weight plate and specifically warm up the ankle joints again to really focus on that deep ass squat. Because in order to have an ass to grass squat, your knees need to come before your toes. Everybody that says something different is just lying to you, period. So here we go for a deep stretch for 10 seconds, three times on each side. So the key points for a good squat are upright posture, knees in front of your toes and your foot and in the line of your foot so that you can maintain the upright posture, the elbows below the bar. So in order for you to do that, you really have to squish in here and activate the lats so that you really have the elbows in front of your body and also below the bar. And this really what we have done so far is the specific warm-up. So we have done body weight squats, we have maintained the proper form when lifting with lower weight and we have put on some weights but not too much for us and now we really can put on some more plates. Let's go! And by the way, some thoughts here about the safety handles. They usually would belong here to make sure that the weights don't drop when you can't control the weight anymore or the bar anymore. I say that you don't use those because it's more safe. 
because when you do a heavy squat and you can't control the weight, you can't get up anymore, you can then move off the weight from the barbell. And if you have the handles on here, if they are attached, then you have to drop the bar and you maybe are going to be below it. So really that folds your body into two pieces and you don't want that. Believe me, you don't want that. There's a lot of footage out there in the web when you see when people are squatting too much weight and they're getting folded down. And even people have died because of this. So really this here, don't use it. So I finished my free working set, let's come now to the common mistakes I did as well in the beginning when I started going to the gym. So the first pretty obvious is not full range of motion. So this is kind of a bodybuilding style type of training. When you just go half reps, you load too much weight for you to handle and then just increase and maybe also scream the whole studio in a park. The next mistake beginners often do is leaning with the upper body too much to the front. This is pretty dangerous because there is a certain point when you lean too much forward, when the distance between the bar and the hips is getting too big, a torque is induced which will ultimately make you fall to the front. The barbell is most likely going to fall on top of your neck and leading to very severe injury or even death. And we surely don't want that because you need to click now on this video here to learn what the best strength training exercises are for martial arts. Let's see you there!